Well, you may know getting around the Bay Area was pretty tough for a lot of drivers yesterday, but the same issue could also be said about cars without drivers. Yeah, some self-driving cruise cars got tangled up in San Francisco last night. At least two of the company's driverless cars were caught driving right through caution tape and downed wires. Crown Force Gail Ong is live in the city with the pictures and reaction. Gail. Yeah, Ken and Catherine, as we know, there's so much storm damage last night. And one car expert says those driverless cars should have detected the caution tape. Photos posted on social media show at least two of Cruz's driverless cars at the intersection of Leavenworth and Clay Streets in San Francisco Tuesday night. Both appear to be driving onto caution tape and downed wires. Cruz responded saying some of its cars were able to proceed on their own, while others needed a team member to come and retrieve them. One expert says this is a serious issue for Cruz. The, the sensors, the cameras and the LIDAR and the radar should be able to pick that up. Uh, the fact that they didn't indicates that Cruz has got a, an issue that they need to address fairly quickly. Sam Ebwell, Sam, an electric vehicle industry principal no, analyst at GuideHouse, says through. it's time for regulators to step up and start establishing standards for these types of systems before they are allowed on public streets. We need a, a, an independent third party that can set uh, performance standards for things that these things should be able to see um, that you know may not necessarily be common, but you know, <laughs> things like down power lines, you should be able to detect that and respond to that correctly. In this case, the cars got caught up in the aftermath of Tuesday's storm that brought heavy winds, knocking down trees in the neighborhood. The street was blocked off due to down muni wires. On the same night, this cruise car with its emergency lights on appeared to have no issues maneuvering around the city. It pulled up behind an SFPD patrol car on Baker Street and later drove off. But last September, cruise driverless vehicles were involved in three separate traffic incidents in San Francisco, blocking streets and a close call with a munibus. It's not uncommon for autonomous cars to be seen around the city, but it was for Daniel Zito visiting from out of state. It's a little scary, I would have to say, coming from New York. So I don't know. It's, it's cool, but I don't, I don't trust it yet. <laughs> And San Francisco has allowed autonomous cars to navigate its streets since 2020. Cruz did announce recently it wants to test its driverless cars across the state. Live at San Francisco, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.